Michigan Governor Rick Snyder recently visited Rochester Hills as a guest of the Mayor's Business Council. The governor had a chance to meet city officials and some of the business people behind the city's low 5.1% unemployment rate. EEI Global hosted the meeting at their Rochester Hills headquarters. During a private reception, Governor Snyder shared his perspective on his role and the role of state government in local economies. We're here to serve you. Um, and that's the simple way I look at this, is essentially I have 10 million customers, which are the citizens and organizations in our state. Um, you're the job creators. And our role is to create the best environment for you to be successful. And the challenge was, is we were a broken state for a lot of years. Um, the good part is you were very fortunate. You were in a county, in a community, that are examples of places that worked well during those difficult times. The issue was, is we had to get the rest of the state to catch up with that and uh, raise that bar even higher. So when that bar is that high, my goal has been to say, let's raise it even higher. So hopefully you've seen that progress over the last few years, that we're delivering on your expectations. Hopefully we're exceeding them. The reception was followed by the formal business council meeting, where the governor gave his speech to the local business leaders and even took a few questions. What do you see as a future with the bankruptcy in Detroit, and how is, how is that going to affect what goes on in Michigan, and what are some solutions that you think we have? Wonderful question. I'm glad someone asked it, because I'm happy to give you the answer. Detroit has a bright future, and I ask you to take away two things from this meeting regarding Detroit. And I hope you speak up and share these two things with anyone that brings up negative things about Detroit. Again, don't argue with them. Don't get into the blame game. The past is the past. But these are two things I had ask you to be proactive about sharing with anyone you see when Detroit comes up. First, the bankruptcy is not a new problem. It's a solution to 60 years of mess. It's time to solve the problem. That wasn't getting done. And we went through a very progressive set of steps to say, could we do it short of bankruptcy? Could we do consent agreements, other things? Well, we're at this stage, and the job's going to get done of putting a solution in place to the city government's issues to get a new foundation to build off of. That's one. Two, people quite often wonder, well, if you get that done, is the city of Detroit going to come back? Well, that's not accurate. The comeback of Detroit has already been going on for several years. To give you some perspective, some numbers you should share. There's been about $10 billion of private investment in Detroit in the last few years. In terms of jobs moving into the city of Detroit, it's 12,000 jobs. In terms of young people, young people are moving in Detroit at a pace where there's not housing left for more young people to move into. It's about 98 to 95% occupancy in midtown and downtown Detroit. Those are fabulous facts. And think about those three things. They happen while city government's still messed up. That was in spite of that. What happens when city government is operating appropriately? Detroit goes from being a place that's difficult to becoming one of the great value opportunities in the United States and the globe. So there's a very bright future. And I would tell you, I think that's an awesome opportunity for Rochester Hills and Oakland County. Because if we went around, and I think if I asked people, have you found difficulties or sometimes lost opportunities or challenges that you could have, might have gotten or you might have had an opportunity at, but Detroit came up and people looked at it as a barrier or sort of created a bar there or some kind of issue, Detroit working well is going to help raise the opportunity levels for everyone in the state of Michigan, regardless of where you are. The Mayor's Business Council exists to help local businesses thrive by streamlining city processes, cutting red tape, and providing forums like this one to give the region's top entrepreneurs a voice at levels beyond just City Hall. You can see all the governor's comments, plus the mayor's top 10 reasons nerds love Rochester Hills' introduction of the governor at www.rochesterhills.org slash RHTV. Number 10, governor.